Hey and welcome to this little collage paper making video. So today I just want to make a bunch of collage papers with black paint and black ink only and I wanted to go over the materials real quick. So I've got some punchinilla here, little bit of packaging, some bubble wrap here too and then I've got an old gift card. I always like to have one of those handy for whatever I'm doing. A couple of brayers, a real narrow one, and then another little one. They're great for mark making. Now I've got some stencils I wanted to show you. This is from my friend Jacqueline Jimerson and her stuff is linked below and I love this artist. Uh, she designed this stencil. I have a few others but I really only wanted to use this one out of hers for this video here and um, she does a lot of jelly printing artwork and she does some really amazing stuff in my opinion. So I'll link her stuff like I said and then I'm using a couple from PM Artist Studio and I will link them below as well and then I've also got some of my hand cut stencils that I've done here and these are really fun. I like to lay in bed at night and watch TV and draw stencils and cut them out and you know I just don't ever stop so those are those that we'll be using today and for paper I've got some cut up tissue paper here I love this stuff for collage paper and then I've got some uh, rice paper happening here and this is my 12 by 18 rice paper pad and I just cut all of my sheets in half so they're they're what nine by twelve just to make it a little bit more manageable and then I've also cut down my cans and newsprint this comes in such a gigantic paper pack but I really love this paper too so let's talk paints real quick. I've got this Anita's metallic black paint. Also Anita's acrylic black paint. I've got some uh, folk art home decor chalk paint. And then I've got some India ink in this bottle and also in this bottle. So this is just a little fine liner bottle. And then of course I want to water some of this down. So I'm just going to use my little cup here. So let's go ahead and get started. I also wanted to let you know real quick that I've got at the end of this video I'm going to do a flip through of all the pages and I wanted to talk about an exciting project coming up for 2022 here on my channel and just a little chit chat about me as an artist so I hope you stay tuned for that.
Okay, this is the metallic, this is the Anita's acrylic, and this is the chalk. So let's go ahead and start out with the matte acrylic here.
Okay, so here is this massive stack of papers I ended up with, and this is such a fun and therapeutic way to do kind of prep artwork for uh, your collage work later on to have these, you know, little piles of paper that you can pull from easily. So a couple of brushes I did use while making this kit is I used a little fan brush just here and there, and I think I washed the actual one I used. I don't think that's it, but um, fan brush nonetheless. And then this is a little Japanese brush, and these are really thick and they're not detail brushes but they hold a lot of paint so I love using these brushes they're great for spatter they're great for making thick lines by pushing down and then thinning them out by pulling them up this does come of course to more of a point as it's wet so I did go ahead and use those on these and I want to go through these real quick and show you and I want to talk a little bit about what's coming up for 2022. So here is this, uh, this is Jacqueline's stencil design almost in its entirety on this little piece of tissue paper here. And I just love her vision and her ideas and I've got her channel and her shop linked below so you can find her very easily. Um, now this is all tissue paper that I'm showing you now. So these are just, they came out so fun and they can be used as a full page for artwork or torn up of course for collage, which I'm probably gonna be doing both with these in the near future. And I wanted to suggest to you, um, I don't know what it is about me, but I really struggle with using original art pieces, but it's got to the point where it's just kind of you know interfering with my ability to create so it's become unacceptable so my solution for that of course is to just scan everything as you make it and then you can print off uh, you can get laser prints of your art and paint on them and do whatever you want to the laser print so this to me just speaks there's something about this kind of artwork, this mark making artwork that just really pulls on my memories and I am a believer in past lives and I do believe that we've all been here many 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 times and that we will all come back to life again and again and again and this really speaks to that for me this is the kind of artwork that just really pulls on some deep primal memory that lives within me and you know I love to talk about I love to explore ideas like memory. We have blood memory, which is our heredity memory and our human um, bloodline memory. And those are things like instincts and stuff like that. And then of course we've got our body memory. I dealt blackjack for many years and I can deal blackjack in my sleep. My hands know exactly what to do. It becomes very, um, automated, you know, the body memory. So there's those two kinds of memories. And then there is a spiritual memory. And that is the one that I really love to spend a lot of time thinking about. And, you know, I want to tell you guys, I've been all over the place on this channel. And when I first started this channel, I didn't really know what I was doing. I'll go ahead and flip through these as I talk. I didn't really know what direction I was taking and I'm so glad I did it and I'm so glad I'm continuing to do it. But now I am, um, real quick, this is all the tissue and I will let you know when we switch papers, okay? So now I've got a much more f um, tighter focus for my channel. Like the Zentangle Flowers taught me a very good lesson. That is a fun kind of a play art form for me, but it is not my soul's 
artwork you know what i mean this kind of mark making uh botanical art and grunge art is really my soul's calling of the type of artwork i want to do so i did remove all the zentangle flowers from my channel and i'm glad i did and i'm glad i learned that when you get really far away from your niche and you get really far away doing things for your audience that they subscribe to you for, that can really put you in trouble. And so I learned a very valuable lesson by doing the Zentangle flowers. But um, moving forward, I've got a great uh, excavation coming up for the year of 2022 and we are going to delve deep into the life of an artist and we're going to be doing a project every week for the year of 2022 and I am going to put out a little video explaining the entire idea so I don't want to give too much away here but I want you to know that I have grown so much as an artist since I started this channel Channel, and I'm really tightening in on my uh, my soul's work now and I'm going to be doing like I said this channel is going to revolve around grunge artwork botanical artwork mixed media like altered canvases those kinds of styles of artwork and a whole lot of collage coming up so if you're into those things by the way this is the last piece of tissue paper right here okay we're moving into the rice paper so if you're into that kind of stuff um, by all means come back because we're going to be delving into it we're also I'm going to be covering topics I want to talk about my journey as an artist and what goes on inside of me as an artist and share those things with you I have found that I really um, struggle with talking in my videos and I'm getting better and I'm getting more focused and I don't I want to respect your time as well as do artwork with you so both of those things are on my mind very much so and um, I want to be able to talk with you while I work so I'm gonna spend the entire year of 2022 honing in those skills so that we can really have this deep enriching experience you know and I had chosen I just want to show you what's so cool about these pages you can make up let's say you don't want collage you just want to use this as your background you can paint on top of this make a piece of artwork out of this and if you have it scanned you can print it out and then you can flip the direction and make an entire new piece of artwork out of the same page and I definitely want to play around with that in the this upcoming year here so um, back to what I was saying and I lost my train of thought see what I mean I really do need practice but um, we're gonna be talking about the spiritual aspect of being an artist my life is very spiritual and it's extremely uh, important to me to be spiritually healthy so I definitely want to cover those topics and those areas and you know it is funny I this is a little detail of my life that I don't readily share because my belief system is so much not it doesn't align with Western society uh, in the regard that, you know, I do believe that we've been here many times. And I do believe that like this kind of artwork, this kind of mark making, this page is a really good example of what I'm talking about here, that it touches memories of lives that we've lived before and you know, this almost makes me feel when I do this mark making work here that I in a past life was learning how to communicate with those around me through art and it has carried through lifetime after lifetime and it's just fun for me to explore these ideas and think about the impact that this has if it's true if it's true so um, this is the last piece of rice paper 
Now, along with the past life stuff, I do want to say this. I actually went to hypnosis school years ago because I really wanted to work on past life regression. And I was blessed enough to do that work for a couple solid years. I've had many regressions. I've helped many people have regressions. And it has been some of the most healing work of my life in this lifetime for sure. I would not trade it for anything. But, you know, for me to admit that that's part of my story here on my channel uh, is a very big deal for me. You know, it, um, it it's off the beaten path. It's definitely not in alignment with my culture. You know, I'm an American. I was born an American and I love America, but I also love acceptance of new ideas and some that are you know, cannot be proven. So much of my spiritual life just cannot be proven by scientific means, at least not yet. They can't. And I don't, the only proof I need is in my heart and in my mind and in my inner voice that guides me every single day. So I'm not so concerned with proof, but our society is extremely concerned with proof. So, and I understand understand and respect the need for that. Isn't this cool? This has such a grungy urban vibe to me and oh, I just love it. And I love the consistency of this little stencil I cut. So much fun. But I'm wanting to delve into this in 2022 much deeper. So I think I'll just quit talking about that for now and we can enjoy these pages. But I'm very excited. I will say this. I'm very excited. This is the newsprint, by the way. I hope I said that. I think I did. Um, to share my inner world with you here on my channel and to let you in enough to, you know, we're going to agree on things. We're going to part ways on things, but I totally invite you to listen to me with an open heart and an open mind, because when I listen to people who have different ideas than my own, it expands my existence in magical, wonderful ways. It gives me an opportunity to look at life through the eyes of the person I'm listening to. And there is nothing more valuable to me than being able to see and hear and experience other people's perspectives. That doesn't mean I have to agree with everything they say. It just means that I want to hear where they're coming from. So this is the last page of these collage pages. And this page in particular really tapped on my psyche so deeply with with, um, you know, I look at like I've had clear memories with past lives, but so much of what I experience when I'm in the realm of delving into past life uh, experimentation and all that is I get fragments of memories and I can't put my finger on it and I can't flesh it out entirely. It's just a little fragment and it's charged big time with emotion. And that is what makes this work so fun for me. And painting this page here, as I was using just a little piece of foam, um, here was the styrofoam and here was the little sponge, um, making these marks and then doing the thinner lines over. It just touches me. So words fail me words just fail me in this instance, but it pulls me, it almost like pulls me through time into another lifetime where this artwork was so familiar to me then. So it's great to explore and do all different kinds of things. And you know how on YouTube, I'm so grateful for YouTube because we have, you know, I've had so many things that I've been exposed to and I'm like, oh, I want to try that. I love that so much. And then I've tried all different kinds of 
of things. And I found that I don't love everything that I've tried as much as I thought I would. But the beauty of doing all of that experimental work is it has honed me in and brought me to center with my artistic voice for this lifetime. And it's such an exciting time to be alive. Look at the wealth of art supplies we have to work with today. It is an incredible time to be alive. And I must say this too, when I'm talking about all these spiritual things that, and especially past life, you know, I'm only going to pay attention to past life experimentation to the point of how it serves me today, because today is what is the most important, you know, and I had, I've had a few phobias and I've had a few things that were really holding me back that attracted me to that work in the first place. And I have had a complete healing from those things that were holding me back due to to this past life work. But saying all that, this lifetime is so important. And everything that I experience from that work has to serve me now. Otherwise, it's pretty much irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited about delving into this with you. And I completely, as always, invite you to subscribe. We're going to be digging deep in this excavation in 2022. And we are going to be talking about the soul of an artist and what that entails and how we uh, get through challenges and past life stuff aside. That's just part of my story. But there's so many other components to my story um, directly related to being an artist specifically that I want to share with you and how I have had breakthroughs and overcome challenges as an artist and grown and started to actually make money at being an artist. All of those things I want to cover in this excavation that's coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please make yourself a whole bunch of these and I do recommend scanning them for sure. I'll be scanning mine. Haven't done it yet, but I'm getting ready to. And um, uh, we'll be delving in to all of this stuff. Also, look forward. I just want to put this here because it's so fun to look at. Look forward to a little video coming very soon, and I'm going to really give you a very fleshed out, clear idea of this upcoming 2022 excavation. So I'm really glad you stopped by today, and I hope you have the most excellent creative day today, and I will see you real soon. Thank you.